Well, I, uh, I really enjoy having that as a tool for the classroom. Uh, Smart Science Labs have really helped a lot of our students um, gain basic understandings with wonderful visual aids. Now, it was an excellent way for them to uh, catch up or even maintain uh, their lab count for the regents. As you know, we have to have at least 30 regents labs uh, certified toward the regents um, for them to even sit for it. Um, Smart Science Labs were great because they're spread over all the topics of earth science and they're wonderful ways to gauge student learning. There's a preliminary quiz, and there's an experiment, there's great uh, graphics for, for data plots, there's a, a final quiz. Um, it gives them a lot of uh, sensibilities about what goes into a full lab. Most of the students are pretty uh, computer savvy in this day and age. This is a nice way of getting them online to do something well. The funny thing is, is some of the students who had trouble with the traditional labs and the paper, um, although they may have complained at first, once they got into it, I've had in several cases where the students just took off like wildfire, doing many labs, far beyond what I required. In one case, I saw a student who was marginally passing go to a legitimate 92 last spring. And uh, it's funny because he was taking his earth science regents just last week and he's passed it which is a, a, a tremendous accomplishment. The Smart Science Labs are great because they also are emphasizing the region's knowledge that should theoretically be going with a lab. And it's a great way for them to review without even realizing it. So I, I see value in it for prepping for the regents as well as for getting labs done required to sit for the regents. I, I have nothing negative to say about it.